Hi everyone. I'm just going to be um, doing another page here in my newly found book journal. And so far I have, this is some um, very interesting looking stamp off or whatever you call it. Then I did this one for Christmas. Just really enjoyed that. Then I did this one after Christmas a couple of days. See, I don't date them and I need to. So I need to look up the, the video on that. I did a little few extras here and I like it better now. So this is going to be a test of my new gesso and I made this on my last video the one that is a shout out to Spanky Spanky's Corner for her uh, challenge and her celebration of the 500 subscribers and I you know I can see how thick this is so I'm just going to add a little bit of water not a lot three squirts and uh, stir it up a little ah! I use my emery board it's an old one I should um, be more careful but I'm not so yeah I'm seeing a little bit of lumps in there so probably just need to stir it around some more it it reminds me of when making mashed potatoes you want them really smooth I mean I do I like mashed potatoes smooth smooth <laughs> and I try to with the mashed potatoes I try to kind of smoosh out the lumps and so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm gonna cover this sorry turn on the video and my nose starts running so I just need to grab a brush And I'm just going to wet it, but then I'm going to take off all the water that I can until it's just damp. So I don't want it drippy wet, and I don't want a dry brush. I just want it damp. And then I'm going to cover, cover my page, my pages double page spread with my new gesso oh yeah I see the lumps so I'm just going to have to work work them out the reason why I'm gessoing this page is that if if I'm not collaging on it then it it needs to be thicker this is just lightweight copy paper copy paper and although I love coffee, coffee paper the best nowadays, um, I made this journal about a year ago. And I was just into doing some different things like decoupaging napkins and stuff like that. 
and I hadn't learned much about grunge, although I loved it when I saw it. And I hadn't learned much about vintage. The kind of vintage, what kind of vintage did I enjoy? So I'm going to do one side. I don't know if the routine is going to be, I add a few squirts of water every single time I use this homemade gesso, or if it will eventually get to the consistency that I want. But it's all a fun experiment, and so... I like I feel like a real chemist like real you know the kids really love that they they love to do stuff that feels like a true 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 experience it experiment I've been listening to music from the 90s. No, not the 90s. What is it? I think I think 70s and 80s. Just just on YouTube. Certain artists that I remember when I hear them, I remember how much I enjoyed listening to them. Okay. So I'm going to blow dry that. For a second. So it's really thick, this gesso, but it is smooth. I I noticed that where I had previously glued on the back of this page, it's quite bumpy. So I don't know if that will go away, or I doubt if it will go away. It's uh, something to think about. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. So I'm just going to take some of these colors that are from, to me, kind of from these other projects that I've done. Like these. I still need to send them off, and because I love the colors, and this one is Laguna, this one is Caribbean, this one is Turquoise, so I think Laguna and Caribbean and Turquoise are very similar. This one is Admiral Blue. I may not need this white, but to be truthful, this is sort of a grayish. I like that. To be truthful, I think that part of this gesso here is is going to blend with whatever I put on here because it's still a bit wet. So that means I have started out with a light color. Ugh, don't 
I ever get ready? Don't I ever do anything to get ready? These are dry, so I'm just going to go over the top of these with a little bit of this sky blue. And that sky blue is going to look really good with this admiral blue. And I'm just going to take it on like that. And use the hashtag like that, going back and forth. Um, motion like um, Cinnamon Cooney teaches. If you don't know who Cinnamon Cooney is, um, put in the search bar, you know, the little magnifying glass at the top, the Art Sherpa. And she has both video and live every day. Or not every day, maybe, I don't know. Um, but often, <laughs> I'll say, often. And she's really awesome. She teaches some great techniques. She's very fun. And I just kind of enjoy, <coughs> I do enjoy her channel. She's lovely. She and her husband, John, work together. And he's like a tech expert. I don't know if that's in, in view, maybe. So he makes sure that she's she's got some great tech support. Um, it's a cloudy day here in Phoenix, sunny Phoenix, Arizona. The sun's been shining, but now the clouds are coming in. It's still warm. I have on my, my, what you call it, shawl here. It's not really a shawl. It's more like a sweater shawl. And now I'm just going to add some white. To this whole mix. And I really don't enjoy um, hard lines in my art. I like to I like to have it blended and kind of fluffing off in the <laughs> in 
from the distance. Fluffing. Isn't that a great word? And that could be snow. And then up here, this could be mountains, snow-covered mountains, or clouds, or nothing at all. Just fun. Just fun painting. Going back and forth like this. A little bit of drag. I'm noticing because it's it's really not smooth paper anymore. As soon as you put the gesso on, it's no longer smooth paper. I added the tiniest bit of water to my brush. Yeah. It's all an experiment, guys. I'm really looking at that watery part right there and I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want the paper to be that wet. And it went right down to the gesso. Right there. So, learn as you go. It's very fun. So far, I really like this. I just want to add a bit of, let's see. This Laguna is greener than this is Caribbean. Honestly, I don't know what the difference is. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, it's a little bit different. But I think that I'll just go with this turquoise. Either the light blue or the white, so I'll check out which one. I just sort of want to blend it across. Sometimes I like it this quiet. And sometimes I just like to add, I don't know, some background music to my videos.
I actually don't want to waste even a little paint, although I have already. But I'm starting to look at my uh, my whatever you call it here, art map. And I'm starting to think about. Ooh, I'm, I'm I like it. You know, I even have words over here where I wrote down prompts like that. people send me things it's predictable I just hoard them for a while I'm not it's not you know I didn't consider before that it could be rude but I do think it could be rude um, so I'm just starting to get stuff out that's been um, in my in my hoard set away and I like to, once I get it out and I get really brave about it, then I like to use it. Now, I don't have any of the the fancy pouncers or anything. What I learned was when I first got here two years ago, I didn't know anything about this. What I learned was people just used stiffer paint brushes And then along came other tools. They may have, the other tools may have been there all along, but I didn't know about them. So I'm just using these. And I don't know. Oh, that's kind of nice. So maybe I'll just continue that on over. And again, I, I put it on the brush and then I, I stamp it off to the side. You know someone I really love to watch and absolutely as soon as her videos pop up, I'm right there, is Dawn Calvin of Let's Make a Mess. She is so much fun. I just, she makes me laugh. She does all kinds of interesting things. I don't know um, if you watch her or not, but go over there and sub to her. She's, she's wonderful. One of the things she did recently, she does everything. But one of the things she did recently was naive art. And oh, I just I just love that. I love the story behind naive art with little Maudie, the lady that did naive art. That's starting to show through. So I don't know about that. I need to wash, always wash your stencils 
This will need to be washed just as soon as I, I'm done here. And so, and so I have just enjoyed watching Don Calvin's channel so much. She doesn't waste time. She was never, ever, ever on the slowest kids team. I'm not going to tell you what my dad called it. <laughs> it's so rude. <laughs> I loved him dearly, but that one was that one stuck <laughs> in my ribs a little. You know, dads, they just are. They just are rude. They don't know. They don't know any better. Okay, so uh, one more thing. I just would like to. I have this little baggie of I just think it's cool stuff in here and I want to add from the sequin waste punchinella whoa I, I'm I'm impressing myself now punchinella and Let's see what kind of what kind of pretty thing I can come up with here with the punchinella. See what it does. You can buy it in rolls, I think. I've never bought it in rolls, but people send it to me and I love these kind of happy happy mails where you can use use a technique sort of so I'm just tapping that off. I don't know how this is going to turn out because it's kind of sticking up. And I noticed that that's going to be stark white. Yeah, it's really white. So I'm going to add something else to it. Maybe the pavement. Pavement is cool. Pavement sounds cool. It's the lightest black I've I've seen so far. And I don't even think you can call it gray. It might be grayish. But I think it's gonna look cool up here. Put some more down here just because just for nothing oh it's pretty I like that I wonder if it's gonna dry all shiny and kind of glimmer glimmery I don't think it's really glimmer If you wash your punchinella too, it's not a one-time deal. You can um, wash it, just you know, be gentle. Wash it and use it over until it's all, all kind of uh, old. Now that I've washed that up, I I see that I want some more up here. So what I'm working on here, this is just a background, a background for something else that might go on here. I really love this. Much better. And when you put stuff on it, it looks really cool if you go right off the page with it. I'm just going to go over this, too. I don't want it to be so bright. Yeah. Okay. OK, 
Okay, now we're having fun. Now this is really, I love it. If stuff starts to curl up, it's because of the water. And um, after it dries, it may just go down by itself. Otherwise, you can just keep on bending it backwards. And it might, that'll, that'll be fine. Okay, let's see. I don't know if there's some stamps I want to use in here. Ooh. This is, I don't know how it got in this bag, but this is a Gina Aaron stamp, which I love. I loved all her stamps. Looks like I used some gold. <laughs> Do I clean things off? Hmm. I don't know. Not sure what I want to put it on. Guys, I just uh I just sort of move ahead. On spur of the moment. Or maybe intuition or something. Sometimes it works out and sometimes not so much. I hope there's enough light so with this one I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to brush it barely across the top and let's see what that looks like ooh I like it I don't want there to be so much that it it smushes down and doesn't leave the stars. I love her wonky stars. <laughs> 